Marsha and I am doing the research of the eyesight of a cat. And can you please tell me who you are? Hi, Jeremy. Yeah, my name is, uh, I'm Dr. David Peter Zell. I'm a professor here at the University of California at San Diego, and I study the visual system. And so I guess we'll talk today about the visual system of cats. Okay. Dr. Peterson, why is a cat's eye shaped like a slit? Uh, that's the first thing that people notice when they look at cats, is that funny slit in the eye. And it's kind of a mystery, but we know that there are a number of advantages that cats get from having a slit, as opposed to a circle like what we have. You know how when you look in the mirror you have that pupil? And you look yeah. in the mirror, when, when the bright light, when it's bright light, what happens to the pupil? It gets smaller. Right, and it gets bigger in the dark. And with a pupil, like the one that the cat has, um, it's much more able to quickly increase and decrease the amount of light coming into the eye. So there are two muscles, they're called ciliary muscles, and these two ciliary muscles are able to close the slit and open the slit much more rapidly than if there was just one muscle like there is in our eye. And so that's one reason for the slit. But the other, and this is really interesting, is that um, what, what, what we do as humans is if we want to reduce the amount of light, we have to wait for the pupil to shrink a little bit, and then we squint a little bit. But the cat with the slit can just lower the eye gradually and control the amount of light going into the eye. And so you want a lot of light coming in when it's really dark, and cats are really great in the dark, but you want also to be able to control the light in daylight when there's sunlight. And so what they do is they just lower their eyelid down, and that controls the amount of light. And so the slit helps them do that too. Dr. Peter Zell. Why does a cat's eye glow in the dark? Right, so what you've noticed is that sometimes you'll look dead on at a cat and you won't even see the cats there, but you'll see these headlights shining at you. It's very strange, and, and you see that in cats, you see that in all sorts of creatures. You even see it in humans a little bit. You know, when you take the picture and you get the red eye, now there you get kind of an orange or a red eye, but with cats you get this shiny reflection. And the reason for that, well, there, the reason for it is the cat needs to have a very reflective back of his eye because he wants to catch every bit of light that he can. So whereas we just try to catch particles of light like, like a baseball glove catches a baseball, they don't mind if the light bounces around a little bit as long as they catch it. And so what they have in the back of their eye is something that is called the tapetum lucidum, and we've been talking about that. Now the tapetum is a very reflective part of the eye, and so it's very shiny. And so if you look at the back of the eye of a cat, you'll see the back of the eye looks kind of yellowish. It's like a bright yellow. Whereas with a, with a human, if you look in the back of the eye, it's that kind of reddish color. So the cat basically has a mirror in the back of his eye that's used to reflect light. And some of that light actually gets reflected out of the eye, and so you see these bright lights shining right back at you. So you were telling me what you know about Haas. Yes, it, it, the, the Haas is an important part to an animal. It, when the animal gets sick, the eye shrinks and the hog it grows bigger to protect the eye from anything. Right, right. Yeah, so that little, that, that, it's like that third eyelid. Yes, it, it's found in the corner of the, everyone's eye. Right, good. So there's that, that, that third eyelid. And we actually, in science, we call it the nictitating membrane. And you like, to, we also call it Haas. And so I remember, I heard you were learning a lot about Haas. 
Yes. And so when you look at the cat, you know, you see those little corner things. And sometimes when it's sick, you're right, it comes across and, you know, you'll see them kind of sitting there feeling sick. And if you, it's a good way of knowing if your cat is sick if you see that membrane, that third eye kind of stretching out. But sometimes it just does that for protection. We have it too. If you look in the corner of your eye in the mirror, you have just a little bit of a nictitating membrane. Just a little bit. But with cats, they actually sweep across the eye. You ever watch that show Star Trek? No. No. There was a guy there with a name Spock, a Vulcan, and he had a third eye that would sweep across and it protected his vision. And so in cats, it's the same way. It just sweeps across and then it can go almost halfway across and um, it protects the cat. And so it's the third eyelid.